Who was this now? His, what was his name? Gusman. Gusman. So one time he was walking with uh, Rav Chaim Eizer Gazinski, who was the head of the Basin of Vilna. He was walking with him in the forest. And, and out of nowhere, and out of nowhere, Rav Chaim Eizer started telling him about the different vegetation over there. He says, this is poisonous, this you could eat. This is poisonous, this you can't eat. Mm. And Rav Gusman said, what the heck is, what, what, mm. see, what's he doing? What's he, he just like out of nowhere. Gets there, you know, it, a few years later when the war began, he was, he was running through the forest and th- that piece of information saved his life because he knew which things he could, he, mm. he was able to eat. So, the Chaim Eiser knew that and told him, okay, that's one thing, whatever, whatever it was. But, but he, was, he was able to remember it. Yeah. So, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> when I was thinking about Zikaron, so mm. I remember that story mm. came back to my head. Uh, th- and you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? If we weren't able to remember things, we'd be we'd be in a lot of trouble. But anyways, today we're going to move on to our seichel, right? Today, hopefully, we have a little bit of seichel, and uh, <laughs> and let's see what we can do with seichel. So we're on page Kufsam of Zayin, the second paragraph, right? The, the, in the English edition, it starts with the word achamidos, which is a one line beforehand. But it says achamidos shenagia aleyan b'seichel rabos maod. The midos that we could attain, that we could achieve through using our seichel, are great. Mehen shevoneda sheyeshlanu b'yirei chacham. Right? Everybody knows that there's a God, right? All right, that's where the, we, we, everybody knows it. You ask, you 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 ask most people, many people, they'll they'll tell you right away. But what he's referring to over here is a person who's come to a deeper level of understanding of knowledge of Hakadosh Baruch Hu and the fact that Hashem is a Chacham, Kayam, that he's that he's standing, so to speak. Um, or everlasting Echad that he's one Kadmon that he c- that he's the first um, that he was before everything Yachal he is the Almighty and all able Lo Yechilei Uzman V'Lo Makom that he supersedes time and he supersedes and he supersedes Makom and the Mepharshim comment on this that if you if you think about it that if the Rabbi Yishlam created world the world so that obviously he can't be Mugbal he can't be um, he can't be um, to give a gvul, he, 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 you can't you can you can't give a gvul, a border, so to speak, to of to the size of a kaddish baruch or whatever it is. You see, you see the world that he created it. Nala mi midos habruim. He's he's above the midos of bru, meaning we can't give midos to Hashem. It is impossible for us to give midos to 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 put into words the midos, the character traits of a kaddish baruch hu. The israimi machshavos hanim tzayim. He is above the machshavos, the thought process of us. Racham the he is he is he is merciful and he's Chanan, like we said in, in Tachanan today in Slichas, Umetev and he is a giver. Lo Yidma he 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 gives. Not only does he give, right, Metev, right, we spoke about this once that there's two different types of giving. Right, giving that we actually spoke about it last time we were together. There's a giving which a person needs to give, and there's a giving of a Metev, a person that gives even more than he than he has to than he has to give. Hey, we, 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 you know, person has the ability to think about it every time he goes into 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 Sobeys, yeah, into supermarket. You go to to you go through the fruit and vegetable aisle, <coughs> right? They look, we need to eat fruits and vegetables. If not, we wouldn't be able to live, right? Yet that Kaddish Baruch even though we need to eat it, he, he gave them such beautiful colors, right? That, that's because that's that's a mate of Shabbai, mm-hmm. right? That's the, that's cause that's like the father that doesn't only give his child what he needs. He gives because he loves to give. He gives because he wants to make a kishmak. So using our seichel, we have the ability to internalize these factors. To look when we go into Sobeys, right, and we go and we go to the fruit station over there and the vegetable station, we due to our seichel, due to the fact that the Rebbein Shum gave us a seichel, right, which is what our focus is supposed to be, the fact that he gave us a seichel, we have the ability to internalize the fact that we look at there's red apples and green apples and, gr- and red peppers and yellow peppers and orange peppers and the, the the orange and the beauty of the orange and the peel of the orange, right? That, that you, you think about the way the Rebbein Shum crea- created it. Yeah, we'll, we'll speak more about that a different time. We think about the way they're, they're about, like every every fruit, right? Every fruit, besides the fact that it tastes differently, right, also has a different type of peel. Every fruit that needed, right? An apple doesn't need the same type of peel that an orange needs because an orange is mm-hmm. soft on the inside. So an orange was created with padding, right? Because it needs the padding. Because if the, if the orange had the peel that the apple had, then the orange would get squashed. But the apple, which is a harder, which is a harder fruit, doesn't need that same padding. So so it's it's okay to have the peel that it has. And et cetera, et cetera, you know, a, a watermelon, right? A watermelon, if it had only the peel that an orange had, forget about it. So it gets a, sh- a starker padding, its peel. Everything, everything done with such chachma, with such, 
that native that we that we can enjoy the fruits and the beauty of it. You know, the deep red of a watermelon, and you know, and then and the, the the green of the outside. It it all adds to the geschmack of the fruit, the the beauty that 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 is in the fruit. But you only with our seichel do we have the ability to actually internalize these factors. Lo yidma el davar, lo yidama love davar. Nothing is comparable. Hashem is not comparable to anything else, and nothing is comparable to Akadish Baruch Hu. And again, only using our seichel could we internalize these factors. So that's 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 step number one. Step number two, or the other step, is vegamehen and another maila, another totza, another outgrowth of our seichel, another advantage that we have due to the fact that the Rebbeinu Shum gave us the seichel, is she'anachnu mevinim bo ha We have the ability to understand the chachma, right? You go, you open up a science book, right? So we know that the Rebbeinu Shalom is a chachma, a chacham, an unbelievable chacham, we spoke about the body a little bit, right? But due to the fact that the Rebbe Shalom gave us a seichel, we have the ability to look, to, to look and understand a bit, what, however small, you know, however minuscule we, that w- what we understand of what actually is going on may be, but at least that bit we have the ability to understand due to the seichel that Hashem gave us. Vaicholas and the abilities of Hashem, Varachmim and the, the the mercy of Hashem, Hamukuyamim Ba'ilam that are that are Kayim that are there in the world, the Khiva Vaidasa Lashar Yeoslo, Ubavor Taivasu Kailas Ram Yachadas. And therefore through that, right, part of part of having Seicho, right, we say in the first brach of Shon Esri, Atah Atah Atahin Adam Das, Umlame Lanesh Bina, Hanenu, Mayetcha Deya Bina the the Haska, right? Part of Seicho is the ability to to learn out one thing from another thing, right? Right? When a child, the child only sees what's in front of him. He doesn't have the ability to understand that, 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 that there's a whole process. But we, part of our seichel is to understand, right? And now that we, we use our seichel and we understand some of the chasadim of Hashem and we can internalize the beauty of what He's done and the greatness of what He's done, then we could, using our seichel, we could go to the next step and say, oh, wait, so that's machai of me. That, that, that requires me to do something, to thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that's the Aveda of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, of serving, of being an Eved to Hashem. For, 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 the, for, the, for the great, the, 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 good in, the good of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that He gives us, which is kailal everything, which, which is all-inclusive, and, all, all, which is all-inclusive. And through our seichel, we have the ability to be ma'amin, to, to prove that it's, to, to, that it's MS, to believe in the the the, the Torah that the Rebbeinu Shalom gave to us, and as soon as the Meishin of you all of Hashem, that was given to Meishin Rebbeinu all of Hashem, right? And this right, we all do we, we speak about this many times. You speak about the different religions, right? So on the one hand, the Rebbeinu Miller speaks about it. On the one hand, we believe that a person should be living by a of Shuta, right? I have a belief for Hashem. But a person not allowed to use that to be lazy, right? Even if a person has mm-hmm. a belief in Hashem and that's 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 in his that's in his in his, in his is it, it's already in his intestines, he can't stop over there. He he has to use his seichel to to to, sh- to strengthen it. That's the chavis alvavos's belief, right? So now that the Rebbe Yisrael gave us a seichel, we have the ability to go back and 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 say, wait, how can I come to a deeper understanding and belief of the Torah? Well, right. What other religion says that you have six hundred thousand people that got a Torah from from from, uh, from from that the God spoke to them, gave them a Torah, right? And you can use your power of reasoning that you have because you have seichel in order to come out with a greater understanding and belief in the Torah, and that is what Shar Bechin is Machai of you, right? And the, and and the, what the Mefarshim speak out. He says the the name of the Sefer is Chovos Halvavos. What does Chovos mean? Chovos is a lashon of chiv, right? We're not talking about over th- things over here that now that we can do, right? It's not, it's not, it's not up to us. It's a chiv, right? The point of of the sefer is is to tell us what we are chayiv to to do. We're chayiv to take it to the next level. Be, the, he's, he's, he's reminding us of the great seichel, the great intellect that we have. But we have a chovos halavavos. We have a chiv to take that and u- and utilize it. And one and one of the ways that we can utilize it again is 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 coming to a deeper belief of Akadish Baruch Hu's Taira. Right? And of course, right? <laughs> the fa- a, 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 a child who's chas v'shal malolainu which never be the very shlom should make us and all family members healthy. That it, but a child that 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 has that that has um that's mentally slow, right? The parents aren't as medactic with them, aren't as careful with them if they do something wrong. Because, okay, he has a, he has a problem. 
But that, but Hakadosh Baruch Hu, since he gave us uh, seichel, since he gave us intellect, since he gave us abilities, so that's why he has the right, and that's why he is medactic with us. Hey, how are you acting? You don't have that excuse. You weren't created like we weren't created like animals. We were given human intellect. Therefore, Hakadosh Baruch Hu says, hey, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure you use it because there's, there's, uh, there's the yesh din v'yesh dayan. Umisha pakad seichel, and a person of chas v'shom loses his seichel. Mistalkos may Allah have my loss and no she is cool on. Right? A person that has to show him loses a seicho. It's not, it's not the shot, okay, now I lost a seicho. He loses his manhood. He loses everything. A man without a seicho is, is, is worse than, a, than, an, than an animal. He can't take care of himself. Va mitzvot va gemu va onish. And therefore, he also loses out the mitzvot, right? A person, a cheir, a shot of a cotton is not mechuy of a mitzvot. A shot is not chay of a mitzvot. He doesn't have seicho. Mm. And and therefore he's going to be potter from onesh, and from reward. But we we that we're zeicha to have it, so we have all these things, we have all these abilities and these chiyuvim to live up to. Ah, so that's the first. That's that's the beginning of seicha. Right. Umi ma'alus ha seicha page kuf samaches. Umi ma'alus ha seicha shabo yasek ha'adam kol musagav hamuchashim v'hamuskalim. Through that which a person has seicha, he has the ability to attain all 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 of the musagim, all of his abstract thoughts we'll call it that with things which feel feelings and things of the sort and the sikhli ubo yire mashanela mechusha pagashmi min haniros kinesia satsel umasa tipa achas minamayim betora chalamish right like we spoke about a child has the, only has the ability to a child only has the ability to, to understand that which he sees Something which is be what something which is not right in front of the child, he 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 does not have the ability to see. Masha Enkain, a person that has some level of seicho, he could do much more than that. For example, like the Chavos have always explained, but a person right when a when a child when a child walks and he sh- and he sees his sh- his shadow, so he thinks he has a buddy, right? He thinks he has a shadow that goes with him where, wherever where, wherever he is. But we we understand that that the shadow is, is is not real, so to speak. It's it. But all it is is that we're blocking the the sun from hitting the floor, and therefore we're creating the shadow. But that takes a certain level of of seichel to to make that connection and be able to go back and be able to go back and say, hey, wait, there's 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 a shadow on the floor, but it doesn't make sense that there's this there's this being over here. So let me use my brain to figure out what what's actually going on. That's one example. The second example that he gives is is water, right? You, you ask you ask anybody right or anyone that doesn't have that level of seichel if water could create a hole in, in a rock they say of course not a rock is hard and and uh, and the water is is water and if you see uh, and and they'll prove it to you because they'll take a cup of water and they'll say look it doesn't happen but we know if you if we know that it does have the ability to we know the famous story of Rabbi Akiva right but that it it, it requires a, a a certain level of seichel to understand that just because something can't do it and just because i don't see that it does it that do, that doesn't mean that it's not happening it might be happening extremely slow it might take a long time but it has the ability but again that that requires us to think to use our seichel to to, to think beyond that which we see right in front of us and that we can only do with, to, with the seichel that the rabbi shalom gave us and through our seicha we have the ability to differentiate between emes and sheker and between that which is extra and that which is lacking and good and bad and that which is praiseworthy and that which is the opposite of praiseworthy it was fitting for rebuke uh, disgusting and to differentiate between things which are probable things which are possible and things which don't make sense and the Farshim explain over here that all these, these, all this, this set of of, um, of abilities that a person has to to differentiate. Thank you. To to, to uh, these, these set of abilities that a person has to differentiate between different things is split up into 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 three categories. The Farshim explain. A person has deos, puulos, and midos. A person has his thoughts, right? His thoughts, what his deos are, what his beliefs are, perhaps. Puulos, the actions that he does. And Midos, his character traits. So Emes and Shekhar, that is Deus, what my beliefs are. What, what beliefs are Emes? Which ones are Shekhar? Tovera is actions. What is a good action? What is a bad action? And, and um, Meshubach and Meguna is Midos, which are good character traits and which are ones that perhaps aren't as good. And again, due to the fact, again, that the Rabbi Shum gave us a Seichel, gave us Seichel, gave us intellect, we have the ability to differentiate 
in these three in these three categories between that which is good and that which is bad. Ubo Yavir Sharmine Chayim Betaloisav Hana Oisav and through that, right, if a man didn't have his seichel, right, he wouldn't be able to he wouldn't have figured out that he, he could ride a donkey, right? Or, or a horse or whatever it may be. You have to it takes a certain level of seichel to realize that, hey wait, I have all these animals here, I could use them for my own benefit. Right now, now perhaps this is not as uh, as um, as common, but to the, the ability to understand the placement of the stars, right, used to be right when they, when sailors would sail on on an ocean. So the, how would they know which way they were going? They they would be, they, they, they 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 understood the way that the stars, which are kavua in the sky, and they were able to be, to, to judge the directions based on where the stars were. But it, uh, that takes a great level of of, of seichel in order to be able to do. And again, with all these things that that the Rebbe Yisrael gave us that ability, it's in order that we could we could fulfill everything which we need to fulfill. The Yamar al al Merachkeim utnuis gadleim, and and on their movement and how far away they are from us. The Yavin ha'arachim the ha'kashay shabachachmas hashir, and with the ability to understand um, mathematics. The Tzuras ha'moifes shabachachmas hadibor, and uh, and. Uh, and 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 the the, the the to understand speech that and 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 other chachmos and malachos that uh, that we're not going to be mayrchan right now the the mechaber tells us but again all these different forms of chachma that we only have the ability to do due to the fact that the bais shalom gave us a great a great amount of seichel and chachma. And like he finishes many many topics, he says, "I've laid out the groundwork for you." But like, there's so many more middles that that us human beings have, and there's so much more chachma that that we have. I give, I give you the ball; you decide if you want to run with it. You know, if you think about it. You'll see how much how, how much intellect we actually have, how much how many how much ability we actually have, and the Rebbe gave that gave, gave that gave that all to us. And again, it's something to be thankful to Hakadosh Baruch Hu for. And that's the, and that's the seichel, and that's that's the last step of the the greatness of the mind that Hakadosh Baruch Hu gave to us. So right, we spoke about last week. We spoke about this week about the mind, and and again, like like I just said a minute ago, but uh, just to remind ourselves, so we don't forget. The, 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 it's chayv salavavis. We have chiv to take it and to run with it. So one, one more topic over here. So after he's done with the mind, he moves on to now communication. And we have to thank our Kaddish Baruch Hu for that as well. And we have to first we have to look into it and understand it, and see the chachma in it. Right, the Rebbe Shalom gave us the concept of speech and the ability to speak. Through speech, we have the ability to communicate that which we're feeling on the inside. Imagine a person didn't have the ability to communicate that which he felt on the inside. Imagine such a life. The Rebbe Shalom gave us the, 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 the power of speech, the ability of speech to communicate. That's the second that he says. To understand other people, right? Person go, a person goes, goes out on a date. Imagine you're going out on a date and you couldn't speak to the person. You never understand what that person is about. You, never, you, 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 you can't create depth in a relationship without a way of communicating. Speech is it's unbelievable. I remember my, when, my, when, my, when, my, when my grandmother, she was on, she was on her deathbed. So I, I, was, I was there, I was saying to Hillam, and uh, I don't know if this was the proper thing or not the proper thing to do, I'm not sure, but I couldn't tell if she was conscious. Mm-hmm. Right, so I wanted to show her that I was saying to him for her. So, so her eyes were open, but she wasn't communicating. So I, I put that to him in front of her eyes, and but she couldn't communicate. She wasn't even moving her eyes. But then a few tears fell out. So through that, I realized that 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 that, that and that was her way of communicating. Mm-hmm. Okay, if she was in a terrible situation, that was her only way to communicate. But communication is such a powerful thing. And 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 the Rebbe Yisrael gave us this unbelievable way of communicating with the, with, that no other creation has. Why? Because they don't need it like we need it. And even animals, <laughs> for what they need to communicate, they have. But the concept of deeper of speech, mm-hmm. right? And that's what he's focusing on. He's not really. I'm really going a little bit off topic because he's focusing more on speech as opposed to communication. It's it, 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 it's 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 unbelievable. A person, even if a person has the ability to communicate, if he didn't have speech to articulate his words. He, he, he will never be able to get out what he feels on the inside. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite lines. He says the the lashon that the tongue and speech is the is the pen of the heart. 
It's a shliach to bring out that which is on the inside. Without speech, a person wouldn't have a shakovatari, a connection with his friend, and he would be like an animal. Through speech, you know, they, can, they, you know, like they say, he's going to repeat it again. You can tell who a person is through his manner of speech. Right. You go into certain areas, you hear the way people speak, you, and then you go into other areas, you can know, like, you know who you want your friends to be. Speech is megala, it reveals a lot about a person. Right? And that's how business deals and other deals are made, like he says. That's how you make a bris, a connection between two people. Ubeino akim va'avadam, between a master and his servants. Ubadivar yashvadam in muvaisav. That's a person, a person could say, I'm sorry, and he could repent through his power of speech. Viyavakish kaparas avaynaisav, and ask for forgiveness for a sin. Vuharaya hachi chazaka al chashivas ha'adam ugriyusai. And like he said, like I just spoke out a minute ago, it is the biggest proof of the greatness, or chas v'shalom, the opposite of a person. His, the way he speaks. A person is his heart and his speech. That is the hashlama, that is the makeup of a person. The speech. Right? Like we spoke, in, we spoke about weeks ago, right? There's different levels of creation. There's doimim, earth, the, uh, not, not a rock, um, tzimeach, like uh, vegetation that could grow, chai like animals, and medaber. That's human beings. The the the, the, the ikar mila, the most important mila that we have, which differentiates us from other levels of creation, is that we have an ability to 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 to, to speak. Mm-hmm. And 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 the, we must we, we have to be makir therefore the chachma of a kaddish baruch in giving us that that ability. And then. And uh, okay, so we'll we'll hold it over here. He's gonna he'll speak about writing tomorrow, but uh, next week, Mr. Hashem. But again, th- another form of communication. So that's uh, that's the thing. And again, you know, you hear you hear you know that you get great orators, you know, wh- whatever it is. You have to. You f- where's the chachma coming from? You know, I, when I was younger, I went to my father used to love used to love going to Broadway plays. Uh, mm. You go you go to one of those mm. plays. If it's not a musical, there's no problem with Kalisha. <laughs> but you go. <laughs> All one of them. <laughs> you go. You you Ronnie? go. Uh, if you go to one, if you go to one of those plays, if you go to one, if you go to one of those plays, and you see you you see that it's it's unbelievable what a person mm. could do with his power of speech. It's uh, it's unbelievable what a great speaker could do. Right, the you know the great speeches of of through history. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that power coming from? 